In this video, we'll go over some of the recently added features in Microsoft Teams, specifically pertaining to device settings. These are updates that I've rolled out within the past year, and unless you're the type of person who dives deep into the settings menu, you may not be aware of them yet. These are high fidelity music mode, mirror my video, adjust video brightness, and video soft focus. Let's start with the high fidelity music mode. In this mode, teams support a 32 kilohertz sampling rate at 128 kilobits per second, providing a richer, more dynamic sound experience. There are two use cases for this. The first and the obvious one is for streaming music. If you're a music instructor conducting virtual lessons, or if you just want to share music in high quality, this feature will work great. The second use case is for speech. Although Microsoft specifically recommends against using this mode for speech, if you're using a high quality microphone, this will significantly improve the sound of your voice as heard by your audience. I'll play a sample recording of my voice with the music mode on, then off, so that you can hear the difference. You should put on headphones for this part. By the way, I'm using a Rode PodMic boosted by CloudLifter going through Focusrite Solo as the audio interface. This is a recording with the high fidelity music mode turned off. This is a recording with the high fidelity music mode turned off. This is a recording with the high fidelity music mode turned on. This is a recording with the high fidelity music mode turned on. I think that's a significant difference. If you need to maintain high quality of speech on your call and everyone on the call has strong enough network bandwidth, then you can use the music mode safely. To enable high fidelity music mode in Teams, from the calendar tab, go to the three dots menu, settings, then devices. From there, scroll down, and I already have it enabled, but if you don't, you can toggle it on. The next time you join a meeting, you'll see this option with a music note icon that you can click to enable. Next up is mirror my video. I don't know if you realize this, but by default, Microsoft Teams will mirror the video of our webcam. That's because we're used to seeing ourselves this way. I'm sure you've noticed that when you use a background with text or logo, they look horizontally flipped. Even though the video will appear natural and unmirrored for other people in the meeting, it sometimes helps that we're also able to see this unmirrored view. Let's go to More, Device Settings, and Video Settings. Scroll down and disable Mirror My Video. Now our video is flipped and we can read the text correctly. Again, whether you enable or disable Mirror My Video, it has no impact on how the meeting attendees will see the video, which will always be unmirrored. Then we have Adjust Brightness, which works surprisingly well. Again, in Device Settings, scroll down to Adjust Brightness and toggle it on. This is just with ambient light. Let's toggle it off and turn on my softbox. Even with the softbox, I look a little dim. With the brightness turned on, I think I look much better. Whether you have acne or a few wrinkles on your face, applying soft focus will help smooth out your skin. Just don't go overboard with this as your skin could look a little plasticky. Okay, so that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed it and learned something, hit that like button and subscribe to this channel. And if you want to learn more Microsoft Teams tips, check out these videos next. Thanks.